Hi everyone, welcome back to Surviving Mars in our next episode. I hope you're all doing well. And um, yeah, we are doing okay over here, the colony. Uh, we do have a few twisters over here. The rocket's coming back as well. It's uh, almost 30% uh, done reaching us. So that means another two souls. And research-wise, we are 50% uh, into try farming which is one of the breakthroughs that we will need to get one of the mission goals which gives us five free supply pods over there now i'm keeping an eye on these guys here let's see what happens so it's gonna yeah it's very close to us sector scan but it seems it's going away anomaly nice let's grab you I hope you can get it before the electrostatic dust storm arrives. Now, electrostatic dust storm, that means I think something, our moisture vaporators will stop working. I really should have built another one of those, I think. Now, I can't remember how long is the dust storm for. for is it two, three, or four souls? Um, I guess we'll find out, and um, if one of the water towers isn't enough, which I think it is, but if, in case it isn't enough, then we'll know that in the um, once the dust storm is over, we'll just build an additional water tower to have plenty of water in in, uh, in stock for us in the bank. Now, fifty percent uh, completed on the journey back. Once he is back, we will send him on planetary missions, which take drones. Now this reminds, makes me think of maybe I should have brought more stones, um, drones. No, that's fine because we have. The rover went dark for five hours. Ugh. When it rebooted, it confirmed it had come into contact with an unusually high voltage electrical charge. Right, so the effects of this one, the R6 bar has mal malfunctioned, we need to go and repair it. That's okay, 50% cost reduction for the following technologies, low J drive and autonomous sensors. I already have this, ugh, I wish it just, I wish it wasn't fixed into the, um, the events itself and it would you know, recognize that if you already have this technology, it would give you a different one. Uh, and we gained 200 million. That's good. Well, that's not bad at all. Now, do we want to leave right now? Yes, we do. Where are you? Over here. We'll repair him first. And let's add another zone in there. Yeah, we'll repair them first and then that's okay. They can survive for a few minutes. Let's just try through this again. Ugh. Yeah, I think it is. Zero F is given. Well, if this one went out, then we would be in a huge trouble until the rocket lands maybe i should have left yeah i probably should have left a few drones there just in case something very bad happens okay let's go back bring you here and same with you oh cool so fuel wise we've got 100 in here that means one mission yeah we can do at least one mission how much fuel ah oh, it's probably gonna take 60 then unless it specifies in the mission itself yeah okay well we'll have to yeah that will do sector scanned some more water far from us kind of uh, let's see 
it's a low deposit. Yeah, not ideal. Let's move you so you can access all the depots here. A little bit more just in case. And alright, nine hours left until the electrostatic dust storm comes in. Um, yeah, I'm kind of glad it's not the um, cold wave event. Because uh, if that landed in six hours, we wouldn't have the subsurface heated up, and I don't think we would have enough power to run everything here. Yeah, we'll take those. Should be should have enough water. I mean, a hundred hundred water should last us. A um, couple of souls at least with the one refiner running. To be honest. I don't need this to. Yeah, I don't want it to maintain it, and they're gonna be turned off in the dust storm anyway. So let's turn this off so they don't accidentally waste the resources on it. Wait. Yeah, it didn't work. I almost thought it's um, the wave vapor areas were still running. Ninety-five percent on the rocket, which is fantastic. Almost back. We'll land it right over here and stock it up right away. Alright, so it can't land. Well, um, Calamity didn't have any any people on this one, because if they had to Sector stay in order for two more days, I'm not sure if they would make it. Another sector scanned over there. Nice. Yeah, so... Another two on top, so it turned... A six soul round trip turned into eight souls, because of this storm. Now I kind of feel that... The cold event would have been... Um, cold wave would have been a lot better. At least we could have landed the rocket, loaded, and sent it out again to get the breakthrough and um, and also research progress as well. Right, so this one was research here. No more anomalies. That's a shame. Let's scan these ones there. And two buildings not working. What happened with this? Building the civil pile lightning strike. Ah. Oh. Okay, we don't need to repair or anything, it will resume once he is ready. And yeah, right now there isn't really much we can weaken to other than wait the um, for the dust storm to, to finish. Unless we um, scan one of those sectors and, and get some more anomalies ready. Um, I think what we can do, though, is... I know I said Resources we're not gonna... Are low. I know. I know I said we're not gonna bring down the... Um, uh, humans. However, what we can do is stop planning out how we want to build here. Now, since there are... Two vistas, well, three, in very close proximity. Okay, wait, let's do this first. Uh, you have received a strange package with a letter attached. As you read the letter, your eyes fill with tears. It informs you that your old friend and teacher, Professor uh, Richman, has just passed away. You often accompanied him on his trips and expeditions and discussed many aspects of science and philosophy together. The strong box contains his legacy protected by a three-letter password and a so short mes message in his handwriting, you'll know. So, Toy reveals Super Fungus Breakthrough Tech. Uh, back reveals Superior Cables and Superior Pipes Breakthrough Tech. Now that is a very good one, that means our cables, if I remember correctly, uh, they 
build themselves automatically and they don't burst. Um, plasma rocket breakthrough or nano refinement. All right, so with this, I know the first two, I don't know the other two, so I'm gonna have to quickly look this up. Right, so the I had a quick look. Um, I just want to be be sure what I'm getting into. So the plasma rocket breakthrough deducts 12 hours from the rocket travel time. So I don't. I mean, it would be nice, but I don't like superior cables are way better um, because they they will never burst or break or leak. Now the last one here, nano refinement breakthrough. This one means that once the um, deposit uh, resource deposit is depleted, it will continue um, refining or mining some of the resources at a very, very slow rate. Um, so in this case. I'm thinking we're going to go with the superior cables. That will be way more useful, at least in my opinion. So that gives us two, two of these. Um, yeah, that is a absolutely fantastic breakthrough. Uh, this one's probably going to be next one. 2,400. So this will be quicker. Right. This will be more useful. Hmm. I think we'll do the quicker one so we can get the access to the supply pod straight away and then we'll go into the uh, into the pipes and, and the wires. Alright, so we have still one solar towers. Cool, another one. Average. Resources are low. Not many in there, unfortunately. Let's scan this one. Has this resume working? No, it has not. It has now. Yeah, really, really dislike the electrostatic dust storm. Now that I think about it. Uh, so what do we have here? We have one drone hub waiting. 45 polymers, 35 machine parts and 30 electronics. So now I'm starting to think we should have put less on the polymers and more on the electronics. But oh well, we'll get the um, supply pods so we can always bring some more. Uh, we are on Sol 28, so let's see. Have the prices gone up again? No, they have not. So that's good at least. Hopefully with the... Um, Supply points, we can still get the cheaper price. Although, I don't think we can bring in a lot since we only have 1.1 billion. And to be honest, I would like to leave at least 200 million in the bank in case we get an event where. Um, I think there were some events where with funding you are able to Resources negate are the um, negative uh, effects anomaly found anomaly yes i do want this one and then once you're done again Research make sure you come complete. back milestone achieved uh nice milestone we got another 500 for researching a breakthrough and another yes, this sector here has some resources as well. Good. Dust storm, 13 hours left. Beautiful. Alright, so seems with the water we are able to one water tower will get us through the dust storm with one fuel refinery. With two. Yeah, we would have being short of water so once we build another fuel refinery over here I think we will 
probably want to build another water tower as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to keep that one to one uh, ratio. Right, five more hours. <clears throat> five more hours and then we can land. We do have the transport sitting over here, so why don't we collect some Anomaly more resources? Analyzed. Some over here. New technologies. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. Right, so we got the drone hub. Uh, eight electronics. Oh well. And Greenhouse Mars, so we can build GHT factories. Ten machine parts though. And that probably means it's going to use machine parts too for maintenance as well. So yeah, I think we're going to leave it for another time. And I think we will... Now, which one first? Rapid sleep first. And then we will focus on the physics. We'll go here, and then we'll go here. Right, rocket can land. Let's bring him down over here. Where is my? Oh, they're still here. Good. Right. So what this means is we should probably create a bit more storage space over here. Uh, this is fine. Concrete. Before I forget. I'm gonna put another two in here. Oh, I should. Oh, I can't. I wanted to start mining the uh, rare metals here as well. The grade is high and it has a little bit in here, which is, you know, okay, but at least the grade is high, so it's gonna be quite quick. However, if I remember correctly, it's gonna require. Yeah, it requires workers unless we get one of the breakthroughs. Um, so we could minus 50 percent productivity but it requires no workers until then yeah we can't really do this now new we also have new planetary anomalies now we need a geologist for that botanist for this one and i don't really know what is the last one well Right, so with you, let's send you on an expedition. New technologies with the Explorer. Let's do a super breakthrough. I really want to see what we can get from there. Water, low storage, oh, let's turn, let's turn you in again. Sector scanned. Another sector done. And which way should we go? Let's do this one here. Right, so that means we're gonna lose some of these guys. Five left. I could always put on the drone hub, but it's gonna require maintenance. Yeah, I think we're gonna be smart about this. Not build it just yet. And continue using the RC commander over here since it requires no maintenance at all so that means we can preserve the electronics at least for the time being I mean at least I have it in the in the bank over there and I can always pop it down if we really need need it desperately but for the time being I think we should be able to survive without it now fuel 130 rocket requires 16 on each, each trip so and we have two missions worth of fuel over here. Worst explorer, it's over here. All right, we'll zoom out it so we can see in case any meteorites come in. Okay, loads. 
That's fine. And come on, focus on this. So that is high priority already. One last more. We're halfway through. Two buildings not working. This one's full. Oh. Yeah, we'll let them... No, we should have this one on high as well. One button, this one. Send at least one drone here, please. There we go. So it could resume working. There we go. Couple more fuel and the rocket will be on its way. Where are you going? Oh yeah, it's collecting resources. Okay, so it actually doesn't go directly through. I think I was wrong before. This one's off, I know. Right, there she goes. Now, if it gives me the big breakthrough, that allows me to build the rare metals extractor over here. We might just do that. It is going to require two uh, machine parts for maintenance. But I think, yeah, I think we'll, 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 we'll still take it. We can just pull the cable through, extend it from here. Discovered. Cold water. And covers extremely rich underground water deposits. Ugh. I mean, don't get me wrong, water is great. But it's not what we wanted. Sector oh, scanned. Well. Right, some free polymers. Where are you? Seven over here. And I'm very low water deposit as well. Wait, so you're done. Let's take it from here. And bring it back to base over there. Rocket is done. Let's land it over here. Let's see. Rapid sleep, so that was the second breakthrough. Then we will get the supply bolts. So, with you, let's send you on another one. Ooh, that is what we want 400 research points. Uh, they're expensive though. We have the metals, we have the fuel. Just don't have this. And, okay, we can speed it up. But it's gonna waste our precious fuel. It's gonna take another 60, bring us to 40. Yeah. And that gives us only 12 per soul. That means we it's gonna take us 5 souls to produce enough fuel to be able to go on that mission anyways. Um, <laughs> I think we'll be able to manage new technologies with the transport. No, we want research progress. I think there was one. Yep, yeah, there we go. Three, 12 hours. Let's do this one. Closer to completing our breakthrough over here. Is that going to be faster though? I mean, right now we 200 per soul. We're 40% there, which means, yeah, either way, doesn't really matter. Well, we'll do the research progress first. And then we can start 
bring it in the supply pods and see if we have a should be able to bring enough on one right oh money is gonna be the bottleneck what can we do none of them give me Hmm. So it doesn't matter that I get this research progress. I'm still gonna be short on cash. Uh, right, so I know under the social tab there is going to be research that will grant us more funding. If I remember correctly, I think it was about 500,000... Mm, no, not thousand, million. And that gets us... extra 25 electronics. So... We put, change them around. Yeah, this one first. We'll get the research progress. This will be done. And hopefully the next one's going to be funding. And then we can do the breakthrough. Whilst we are going to get the money. Yeah, I think right now with the money we have, we can only bring about oof, not even 50 to be honest. Well, it does take a hundred thousand. Let's see how much it costs. So 550 for one. Yeah, so we could bring exactly 50 electronics. That's going to use all our money. That brings us to a total of 80 electronics. And we'd still be short 20 electronics, which means we desperately need the funding. Alright. <clears throat> so that's almost on his way. Right, it's just past this very close. Meteor okay. shower incoming. Meteor shower, nice. I kind of like meteor showers, although they can be very devastating if it lands on your colony. If it lands anywhere else, that means we're gonna get a lot more resources and also um, potentially some uh, research anomalies as well. So I'll take that with the hopes that it's not gonna land directly on top of us. And once we get to MDS, um, they will not be a problem anymore. But again, once we get the MDS, we don't we don't really have it yet. No, I think I heard. Yeah, there's a couple pretty much sure meteors. Sector scanned. Anomaly wow. found. Research okay, let's complete. post this for a second to look analyzed. through all those notifications. So, we have scanned the sector, got some water, and we got some research progress. Nice. We have completed research. Um, oh, it's the applicant's one. Actually, it seems it went through quite a few. Um, all right, we'll have to do this first. Um, what else did we get? We had all those. We got the solar panels, access to solar panels, dust repulsion, which is very good. And the rest is the same. I was really hoping for the funding to be the next one. Okay. Um, right, so this is what we'll do. We'll scan this. I did not want to waste. Oh well. Uh, 
3500 progress for that planetary anomaly that was not bad at all now we completed the goal as well we've got we researched the two the two breakthroughs now we have five free supply pods so before they get any more expensive let's send two here already with the electronics needed cold wave approaching and there's our cold wave um okay Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we should be should be fine. Right. So that's going to take a bit of power water. Well, only 1.6 power. We have the excess power, so that's fine. Let's pause this for a second. Maybe it would be smarter to build this here because that means we can expand it. And it's not getting affected by the concrete extractor over here. We can expand the, the range to cover this one. It's going to consume more power, but I think we, we have the excess, so that is fine. And they will freeze. Well, they won't freeze as long as we turn it on before. The gold wave starts, so let's get it built. We have the metals, we have the yeah, we have the resources we need. Uh, you are going. Oh, there's quite a few metals here as well. Wait, let's land the rocket. Let's put you over there. Right, and once whilst it's landing, let's check. Um, Gone to this one. Gone to this. Transport new technologies. Might send him. No, I'm not because I need this fuel. Transport new technologies. Yeah, I want the fuel for this one. It's going to require 100 fuel. We have 67 right now. Yeah, I'm really banking on the funding to be the next one. So here. Right. Let's see how close are you? Almost there. I think I'll pause it. No, I don't. I need to focus on this. It's already one all away and it's nowhere close to being completed. We'll bring you down, and you down. And we'll get some extra metals from you too as well. Which is all Anomaly lovely. Anomaly analyzed. 1250, that's not bad at all. Bring you back. You bring us another 30 metals. Beautiful. Maybe I should have lost it. But I know myself, I would have. But button to turn it off. So we have an excess of 13 to cover I have to check once it comes in. If this already covers the extractor. Oh wait we can amplify this as well. Okay. Well not before the gold wave. And we still have excess power, which is good. So what this does, um, it's going to heat the ground around this uh, range over here, highlighted in blue. And it means that during gold wave, none of the buildings here are not going to consume any extra power because they are going to stay nice and warm in this range. If it was outside the range, uh, I think it increases the power consumption by, by three times, two or three times I think. And things such as water towers, for example, if they weren't in the range, they would break instantly. Research complete. Life on Mars now. Let's pause this. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
no funding. Now that is... Wait, I'm stupid. We've already done the funding. Uh, wait, but the ship is still a repeatable. Yeah, the ship is still a repeatable one, but I think it's just gonna be further down in the in the range. So now, yeah, that's gonna be a. Um, it's gonna be a little bit tough. We need the money. And there's a few ways how to get it. One is by mining, which we can't do because we don't have colonists, so we're not going to get any money from here. Uh, another one could have been from one of the anomalies, but we don't have any anomalies like this. Our last option is somewhere in the social tree over here, but it's still hidden. This could uncover one of them, but I have a feeling to get the funding, I'm gonna need a lot of resources, resources that I don't have. So, yeah, right. Well, we've got a tough decision to make, but we're gonna make it in the next episode. So in the meanwhile, thank you very much for joining and uh, yeah, see you, see you in the next episode.